uh, Adam Sneath, who is a dual uh, physics and binary engineering student. Um, and he's going to be talking to you about the student perspective, his experiences here at King University, and hopefully about your experience last year in Switzerland and this coming August in Switzerland. Okay, so Adam Sneath. Next in the sequence was optics, 
the physics of light and wave properties. I had the absolute privilege of taking this class with physics department chair, Dr. Simonetta Fratelli. She is encyclopedic in her knowledge of physics topics and her seamless teaching skills prove why she has earned the position of department chair. Here's a Michelson interferometer I built for the final lab project. Uh, it's a device used for measuring small distances with very high precision and uh, carefully calibrated laser beam and several mirrors here on the table. Next was modern physics. This picture shows physics lab director Dr. Michael Huster pouring liquid nitrogen over a semiconductor circuit submerged in sand and contained within a koozie beer jacket or whatever you want to call it. Um, the purpose of this experiment was to monitor the temperature dependence of semiconductor materials. Finally, this picture here, also from Modern Physics Lab, was a neat project with a steel pendulum that we machined and used to measure the gravitational constant with high precision. We also built a laser activated timing circuit to record the period of the pendulum's oscillation, which led to our result. Finally, they even survived my nemesis, <laughs> Chemistry 2 Lab, which I put off all the way until last semester. Though I had a very lively TA, we had a great time, and I luckily managed to avoid all disastrous errors. I'm also involved with Duquesne's undergraduate research program. I've applied for URP each of the last two summers and been accepted. This year, uh, this summer, URP awards me a stipend of $4,400 for 10 weeks of research from roughly the end of May to the end of July. My work last summer allowed me to participate in the MUSE collaboration. This project surrounds the proton radius puzzle, which is an unresolved issue in experimental physics. MUSE is conducted at an accelerator facility, PSI, outside of Zurich, Switzerland. I spent a month there last summer assisting physicists from around the world and having some fun on the weekends. This is my Irish buddy, Dan Giles and I, atop Euclidberg Mountain, looking down on Zurich. Next, this is the experimental hall at PSI, uh, with an illustrated tarp covering the ring machine cyclotron particle accelerator. Next is a picture of the experiment's liquid hydrogen cryo target, which will operate at roughly negative 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, seriously impressive feat of engineering. This was constructed at the University of Michigan. Uh, this shows several collaborators a bit cramped in the counting room. This room is for data collection and analysis with ample shielding from the harmful radiation of the particle beam, which sits below the counting room. Next is a picture of me and some colleagues having dinner after a quick drive uh, to Germany. Travel between Switzerland and Germany surprisingly did not even require a passport. Um, this image shows the particle beam aimed at the so-called detector area. My role in the experiment last summer was assisting the construction of this prototype straw tube detector. The detector was operational and collecting some good data before the end of my visit. I'm working this summer on my second round of URP through this project. I will return to Switzerland during the first three weeks of August to continue assisting the experiment. Um, just two more slides for you, a few more things. I grew up in the South Hills of Pittsburgh, and I've really grown to love the city and its surrounding areas. Um, some of my favorite spots include the state parks, Moraine and Ohio Pile, shown here with Duquesne marked on the red star. Uh, if you enjoy the outdoors, I'd strongly recommend finding a friend with a car and spending a long weekend day at either one of these spots, uh, especially in the fall. Really, really enjoyable. Uh, my lovely girlfriend, Lauren and I, try to get outside at least once every other week. We enjoy long hikes, picnics, and most recently rock climbing, which we're learning to do outdoors. We practice climbing regularly at a gym on the south side called Ascend. Climbing is a beginner-friendly activity, and if you're interested in trying it, get in touch with me afterwards, and I'd be happy to talk more with you about it. And although these activities aren't directly about Duquesne, they're an important part of my experience in staying healthy physically and mentally. Finally, I'll take this chance to offer some quick advice because I don't usually draw a crowd this big when I share my ideas. <laughs> um, I can attest that you will have a better time at Duquesne if you participate in campus events, really. But I find it important to prioritize things you like and things that might help you build your resume. 
because it's simply not practical to participate in everything. One event that was unique and very fun was the total solar eclipse last August. The physics department set up some optical equipment to create images of the eclipse for risk-free viewing. I took this picture of my buddy Isaac Davies showing one such image to university president Ken Gormley. Another event I really enjoyed last November was the strategic plan meeting hosted by President Gormley. Last year, Duquesne unveiled a strategic plan for the next five years entitled Reimagining Duquesne's Spirit and Legacy for a New Era. President Gormley explained that the university was founded on the goodwill of Spirit and Brothers in hopes to provide education for Pittsburgh steel workers. The meeting featured a presentation followed by a long Q&A with the students in attendance. And what a cool and rare opportunity to share our concerns and ideas with the president of the university himself. And once you become a student, you'll see emails pop up, a lot of them being from Mr. Clark. And just take a minute, read it over, and if it seems interesting to you, I encourage you to go for it and check it out. Um, a lot of these events are really fun and a great way to meet people. So, in conclusion, we'll all have those days where we simply want to put our headphones in and walk silently around campus, keeping to ourselves. But I found that the positive energy of Duquesne's campus helps me fight this urge. I would encourage new students to practice networking, which is often just, hey, can I get your phone number or your email address? <coughs> I've made several friends in peers and in faculty just by being open-minded and trying to be polite. I firmly believe that my connections built on this campus will be lifelong, and I will always be grateful for Duquesne University. Thanks so much.